Okay, guys, guys, today I'm gonna show you guys here how to avoid any chokes from the over under pass. This is one of the questions that I get the most. Like, bro, I'm using the over under pass, but I'm getting choked all the time. What should I do? And guys, it's not hard. And it's not even like a technique, it's more like a concept and principle than a technique, which I think it's gonna it's gonna sink in very well on your mind. So, guys, anytime I'm in the over under pass here. And I feel that my opponent plays a hand on my collar. That's the concept here. That's the idea. What I'm not gonna do is, me, it's kind of like underestimate his grip and try to pay off his guard. So I'm not gonna go here and try to pass his guard. Anytime I see a grip coming, either from here or from here, I have to take care of all that. Okay? So, guys, let's start with this one. If you place this hand on my collar here, all I have to do, which is not hard, is I just have to back it up and swing my head underneath his arm and now he doesn't have that hand on my collar anymore, okay? That's one option. If he placed the other hand on my collar, now all I'm gonna do here is kind of like just move my ear towards his forearm and do this, okay? So I don't want to leave his forearm on my neck. This is what's dangerous because his second hand can come and he can choke me. So if that ever happens, I just move my left ear towards his head and I use my cheek to kind of clean his arm over here. All right? And now there is no forearm and wrist on my neck anymore. Okay? So let's see again. If you place this hand, all I have to do is to back it up a little bit and swing my head underneath. Okay? If you place this hand and open his forearm on my neck, all I have to do is this, look. So he's here. And then I can continue passing. But anyways, the borderline of the video is like, never and ever underestimate the hand on the collar. Because that's where the trouble is. Like, the guy plays the hand on your collar and you feel like, oh no, I don't, I don't believe he's gonna be able to submit me. I'm gonna keep trying to pass. And he goes there and swing his arm over. Or even this one that's even more dangerous. Oh, I'm gonna try to pass. And then he goes there and he gets the hand on my collar. And I'm in a huge trouble here. So never and ever underestimate the hand on the collar. I always take care about that. And I always talk about the idea of like many times it's worth giving like one step back to do two steps forward, you know, like. So if I feel that his hand is coming on my collar, I'm gonna back it up a little bit, I'm gonna clean the forearm, and then I go forward. If it's the other hand, same principle, I'm gonna back it up a little bit, I'm gonna clean my hand, and I'm gonna drive forward. And that's it. So, simple, efficient, and I think in this position, the most important thing is the idea, is the concept, it's not even the technique. It's just understanding the idea that if you are in the over the pass, someone place the hand on your collar, don't underestimate that. Don't minimize the potential that he has. Respect that, back it up a little bit, clean that, and then you go forward, okay? Guys, it's a huge honor for me to teach you one more move. Thanks, Ty, for being here. And I have a few instructional videos at BGJ FedEx about pressure passing and over under passes. Make sure to check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.